Hi, I'm Bert. And I'm Kirk. And welcome back to Storm and Fruity Review. Nice. Sorry. <laughs> no, that was good. Uh, <laughs> today we are continuing on in Greece. And we've got something uh, interesting today. Pretty interesting. Yeah. Here. So we were reading on the history on this. <laughs> so you guys may remember us doing uh, Turkish Delight. Turkish uh, probably actually a couple of times. Yeah. Um, but this is kind of a Greek version. Yeah. Uh, cut. I got the burps, man. I'm sorry. Sorry. Uh, it's uh, kind of some cool history behind this. Boo! Whoa! Um, oh, that's the hiccups. That's the hiccups. Yeah, Shit. yeah. But I think it worked anyways. All right. Yeah, yeah. Um, so the cool bit is uh, Turkey and Greece, uh, Greece used to build both be part of the Ottoman Empire. Right. Um, and then when all that split, uh, they had some shared uh, recipes that got kind of they did their uh, own. personalized when yeah. they uh, when when they kind of went their own way. Yeah. So Greek went with uh, prickly pear cactus yeah, for their nice. fruit of choice, uh, which grows in the Aegean Islands. Nice. Yeah, it sounds really interesting. A nice little like spin on their, which happens around here in the in the United States. Like just think of that, like with hamburgers, like all the different kinds of hamburgers or pizza, different regions how they yeah. make it. Yeah. So that's cool. You know, like try something that's familiar but different yeah exactly yeah. so i mean we i mean we like i said we did turkish delight before so we're mm -hmm. going to be familiar with how this is probably going to feel right and, and all that stuff what i'm curious about is the flavor because i've never tried pick prickly pear yeah, cactus either by, you know. um before uh, so i don't know what that tastes like and yeah, so we're I, find out. i'm and i'm just trying to think of what just trying to remember what pear tastes like i mean i know what pear tastes like i but actually don't i don't know what pear tastes like it's pretty good is it yeah. do you like it well, maybe this will be similar, you know. I'm going to pull this out. We are smoking on some purple punch today. Mm. Ooh, that looks really good, actually. It looks, dare this I one say, definitely, delightful. It actually looks, like, less prim and proper than, like, the UK one we got. Right, yeah. And, like, the turkey one. Like, this one's all just kind of <laughs> shoved into a tray with each other. Yeah. Instead of in their own little, in, you right. know, individual... Like little spaces. I kind of like that. Yeah, no, and like they're just like, nah, these these snacks are savage, right. have at, you know. <laughs> it's like we we don't we know you're not gonna fucking uh, you know hold back. So let's and this time it. it's a lot better for me because I feel like I was expecting like a melted sandwich last time. Like when I hear turkey delight or tur you know Turkish delight, I'm thinking of like a grilled sandwich with some melted cheese on it, you know, and like. So, like, if I'm thinking Greek delight, I'm thinking, you know, some lamb and some tzatziki. That tzatziki sauce? Yeah. Oh, that shit is so good. Right? So good. But it's a candy this time, so I made sure not to expect a delicious meat sandwich. He loves his meat sandwiches. All of them. Turkey, ham, Cock. turkey and ham, bacon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get this carefully opened up because it is like loaded with powdered sugar here. Yeah. So we're gonna try and, and we do this. know what happens with grease. Things we know explode. what happens. With, yeah, things explode. If you know, let's see, see it even, even that one. It was a miniature explosion, but it was still a little explosion. So I don't know. that's okay. That, that didn't. There you go. Make a mess. So. Oh gosh. We're just going to pull this out a little bit. And, yeah, oh, that's good. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There. There we go. Controlled before the catastrophe. Prickly pear, Turkish delight, or Greek delight. So they call it Lukumi. Lukumi. Lukumi is the Greek Thor's Turkish brother. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, wow. Wow. Mm. Mm. Okay, first off, hang on. Let Ooh, me, let me go. Ooh, very sweet. Very, Almost very sweet. Bit, like borderline sour. Just like that, the, so much sugar, it's like really. Yeah, I'm not going to eat a lot of these just because I'm diabetic. And that would probably make me lose a toe or something. Um,. So I'm letting I'm letting the flavor finish coming through here on this first eat. Wow, that was good. Very sweet though. Yeah. So there is a metric shit ton of this uh, powdered sugar on Too here. Too sweet. 
It's a little too sweet. Too sweet. For it's my like, liking. And not NWO but too sweet. I want to say, though, that this is not the worst Turkish No, delight no, that we've because... Had. The actual like uh, the prick, the pear part, the prickly pear part is really that's good. really that part's really very tasty. good. But if they had, so much if they had sugar. gone a lot less on the sugar, yeah. it would have been perfect. Yeah. I think. Yeah, really. Like, I think if they had gone less on the sugar, this would have been my favorite. Yeah, um, it almost stings. My favorite one. It is. That is a lot of sugar. That's insanely a lot of sugar. Wow. Um, like, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm cool. Powdered sugar and all that being on the outside, but they loaded it on yeah. here. And I'm, I want to, I want to say too. I don't know if that's normal in Greece or if this is just from the brand that we got. Because yeah. I don't want to, I don't want to form that opinion. Right. You know that that's always how it is. Right. So I would be interested to try. Like if we actually would go to Greece. I would like to see, try this right from the source. Definitely. Um, I would be willing to give this another try. I'm, I'm wondering if it's just maybe this brand just overdoes it. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's a lot of sugar. That is a lot of sugar. And if we go to Greece, we might eat some like meat that's cut off a sword. Mm -hmm. You know what? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Um, and you know, it's Ted because you, you mentioned the the <laughs> the. Sorry, I'm still on the flavor here. Uh, you mentioned the prickly pear flavor. Uh, was actually really nice. Yeah. Um, and it was I really feel like, sweet at first and almost got earthy at the end. Yeah, and I feel like that almost made up for it. Almost. You know, like if it had been a little bit less sugar, it's I now, think that that flavor could have actually balanced it a bit. The sugar taste is now going away. It's like now it's, starting to it's fade. It's finally yeah. fading. Like that's a long, that's a bomb. That is a bomb of sugar. Yeah. Like, I mean, if you're going to do one of these and you maybe you're sugar shy, maybe like... Tap it yeah. off or something because like know, I want to taste that pear again, but I'm scared to try. Yeah, the exactly. Because I I want to I would like to be able to get under there and actually try that pear again. Yeah, because it was a nice flavor. Right, right. and at first the, the the sugar complements the pear because it makes it it really pops the sweetness of it. Yeah, but then that sugar just just does not go it away. Just, it's just all encompassing. It's it's yeah. yeah. Um, I'm glad that the prickly pear did shine through at the end of it, yeah. which is why I was trying to give it a chance there. I didn't want to say too much. Um, because I didn't want to go with my initial very first impression, okay. you know, because yeah. yeah, at, at the very first, it's just, you're taking oh. a, a, sh a sugar bomb right. in the mouth, you know? Right. Um, so I wanted to give that a fair chance to shine through and it did. And I enjoyed that, but yeah, I don't think I could eat another one. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to pass on. Unfortunately. Um, I'm going to give it like a thumb sideways, you know, cause there it's was parts middle. about it. I liked, uh, it I'm sure just, there are people like, who love had, that amount of sugar. If they had just... Yeah, like I said, if they had just lowered down the sugar and maybe just done more of like a powdering of it, yeah. that would have been totally awesome. Yeah. Like, I think that would have been a fine product, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm in agreement. It makes me curious. Like, if, if that's, this really is, like, how they go with it, if it's really balls to the wall on the sugar oh, there in Greece, wow. I'm yeah. curious if, like, they maybe... What if maybe they drink something along with it? Like if like, like they have like, like pairing like or something a, yeah, like like, that, that helps balance like, it or something? Like olive brine or something? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking more like if like coffee's a thing or like, I don't know, maybe like, I don't know. Who knows? I, I, I don't know. But pickled, it's... pickled egg juice. That will really you, balance. You really, uh, you're really giving Grace a hard time. <laughs> no, no, I would just, I'm more like thinking of the sugar, something that's gonna balance the sugar. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, a cup of something vinegar, acidic or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I mean, yeah. So uh, overall, it was an interesting experience. But I, don't, <coughs> I could eat a lot of that. Yeah. That's just too sugar. In the middle. Yeah, in the middle. Prickly pear was good. That's prickly pear was good. Awesome. Th yeah, thumbs up for the prickly pear, but not for the. For the like pound of caster sugar that's on here. Yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for joining us today. Make sure you go to immaturestoners.com and you get yourself some merch. Like, subscribe, share with your friends. We'll see you next time. Peace.